everybody. Um, welcome back. I have not done a video in over two months on the channel. So, and um, we are going to be doing a Lush haul. Yep, this is a big box. And I decided to spoil myself with some Lush products. So, let's dive right in and see what we've got going on in this box. Lots of goodies. So, let's start with what I got for the kids. And I think that they definitely liked it. Of course, I don't have little kids. I do have older teens. Um, those of you that have been following this for a while know that. And um, so yes, so here is what I got the kids. I got the kids, the they're called an Ickle Baby Bot. Um, and they are made with a lavender and a citric acid. They smell amazing, by the way. Turns the bath water really bright blue. And they were a really good price. Like I got these on like, they were having some big kind of sale on, uh, on Lush when I went and did my order. So there was a lot of things that were on special when I did this. So I ended up buying quite a bit of these for the kids so that they had some throughout the, uh, throughout the month. Taylor really likes taking a nice hot bath here and there because he does get achy muscles. And these were a good idea. So we'll put that to the side. Now, another thing um, that I did get is for is a foot powder. Um, I like having something to put in my shoes now, especially, especially if I'm gonna be wearing any kind of tennis shoe or boot. Um, it is now getting to the summer months for us here in Arizona, um, actually Western Arizona, which is where it gets really hot. So if you're like in the Phoenix or in like where we are in the Bullhead City area, which is right by Nevada and California, we um, we definitely, you know, when you wear a pair of tennis shoes or whatnot, your feet are gonna sweat. I mean, there's just no getting around that. It is just too hot here. So I got some of their Tea for Toes. And the Tea for Toes is a really nice, I mean, it smells so good. And uh, it absorbs, of course, all the nasty stuff. It's got some essential oils in there. Um, and it makes your feet feel nice and fresh. Um, it has a... Let's see here, what is the other, it's got walnut leaf in it. That's probably what the smell is. And it's got tea tree oil as well and lime oil. So you got a lot of different um, things going on in here and it smells amazing and it really does feel really good on your feet. You're supposed to put a little bit of this on your feet, you know, pout, like sprinkle it and rub it between your toes and stuff before you put your socks on. And if you really like, if you have really bad feet, like thank goodness I don't, but if you have really, really stinky feet like my son, you would put some of this in your actual shoe when you took it off at the end of the day. Um, sprinkle it in there, it'll kind of absorb any of the smells and stuff like that. So the next day you'd have a fresh pair of shoes to put on. Um, but this is definitely, um, these are vegan, all vegan product. And um, I'm not a vegan, but this is all vegan product. So those of you that are vegan, you can definitely use this without any worry of any kind of animal testing or any of that on their products. because. Um, Lush definitely stays away from all that stuff. The next thing that I got, which was a great idea because these are gonna be great for travel. And they are the, they're called Dirty Tooth Tabs. And they're called Gorilla Perfume at Lush. And they are literally toothpaste tabs. So when you're traveling, you just take this little box with you and you put a tab in there and you brush your teeth with your tab instead of toothpaste. So, you just take it and put it between your front teeth, nibble to break it, wet your toothbrush and brush your teeth. And instead of taking a big tube of toothpaste with you or even a small tube of toothpaste, which heaven forbid your toothpaste tube decides to burst while you're in flight um, or even traveling, especially if you're traveling out here in the heat, uh, it's a definite mess. And so I have really started using these and I really, really enjoy them. They're easy to take with you. They smell amazing and they leave your mouth feeling very fresh and clean, so definitely. Okay, so let's get to our bubble bath um, bars. So we have got some bubble bars, and of course, you can't go without getting a unicorn horn from Lush, and oh, the smell of these. All right, one of the next bubble, bo uh, bubble ones that I got, and this one has fragrance of extra virgin coconut oil, rosemary oil, thyme and lavender of course so i'm not gonna take these all out but this one definitely has lavender flowers in it 
And this is called your French Kiss. So it's called a French Kiss. It's a bubble bar as well. So you just break off a piece of it, put it, you know, run it under your bath water. And these work amazing, by the way. They do bubble up really good. So don't overdo it in the bathtub. Um, I learned my lesson the first time I had a bubble bar. All right, and then the next one I got is called a Karma Bubble. And this one has your mango butter. It has sweet orange oil. It's got your lavender oil. It's got your pine oil. And um, I might not be able to use this one because I didn't read the ingredients the first time around. Um, I do have an allergy to pine, so I may not be able to actually use this one. Okay, so let's, oh, here's the other one. I did get another bu a bubble bar. So let's look here how this one opens so we can peel it. This one is called the Comfort Bubble. And it has in this one, let's see what our fragrances are. It's got bergamot oil, ooh, and what else in it? Cypress oil, and I think that's the only two oils in here. Yeah, that's what it says. Hmm. You know what that smells like? <laughs> it smells like a bubble gum, like your standard classic bubble gum smell um, or bubble gum flavor. That's exactly what this smells like. I'm not sure. I may have to put a bath bomb in with this one. I don't like the smell of this one. Um, it's definitely very smooth filling though. I don't know guys, that one smells like bubble, like actual bubble gum. And it's called a comfort bubble, but I don't know about that being too comforting. Um, it just smells very sickly sweet. So of course my absolute favorite, and I order it every single time I get from, order from Lush every month. It's the Twilight um, Bath Bomb. And this one is one of my favorites. It's got your lavender oil. It's got lots of different ones. Uh, yin Yang, it's got Yin Yang, I guess is how you say it. It's got, ha, ah, it's got my dog's name in this. <laughs> Tonks Absolute, um, Cream of Tartar, of course. And uh, I think your biggest oil in here is gonna be your lavender oil. And when you put this in the bath, it is this of course is pink. And then as it comes apart, it is got a bright blue inside um, that changes your water to almost a very crazy colored um, mix of a purple. So this is my absolute favorite one, like absolute favorite. And it is just, I think maybe it might just be because of the lavender, because it does have such an overpowering lavender scent. Mm, definitely my favorite one. So one of the other ones that I've ordered before, I do like the smell of this one, and it has jasmine. That's the reason why I like this. Jasmine and sage, and of course, um, yinning oil as well. Um... And this one is called the Sex Bomb, which I think the name is hilarious, by the way. I, I get a kick out of the names of some of these, but that's what it's called. And it does smell really well. Like, it smells very um, soapy, I guess would be the right word for it. Um, when you think of a soap, like when you think back and you think bars of soap, not necessarily like, like not bath gels or shower gels, but actual bars of soap. It's kind of what this smells like. Um, it smells like almost like an old ivory bar. Yeah. So it's not the most relaxing smell, but it definitely smells good. Okay, one that I've always done um, quite a few times is the Experimenter, of course. And this one also has tonks in it. This has a uh, vetivert oil. This one has vanilla. It has cream of tartar, of course, um, or tartar. And let's see, what else does it have in here? I said it doesn't really have any other oils. It does have popping candies in it, though. So it does have, you know, um, if you've ever had popping candies, you know that when they get into liquid, they go crazy. And this definitely does that. Um, when you put it in your bath, this just smells... This one has a more of a musk kind of scent to it. Um, I would say this is definitely more of a manly scent. 
Yeah, I could see a man smelling like this as opposed to a lady. Um, but it is a nice relaxing bath. When this is in there, you feel like you're just curled up with, you know, that strong comfort and uh, it smells amazing, but you will smell like it when you're done. I mean, it lingers on your skin. And the other one that I always end up ordering, every single time I order anything from Lush, I always, always, always order this right here. And it is called the Intergalactic. And the Intergalactic has your popping candies as well in it. It has peppermint oil. It has grapefruit oil. It has vetiver oil. It has cedar wood, which I think is the reason why I like this one so much. And it has your... Oh, it's also got lemon in it. And this one has a really strong peppermint smell and lemon. So you can smell the peppermint and the lemon together. Oh no, there's that cedar. Yeah. So you got that peppermint, cedar, and lemon. Um, that cedar and the peppermint, I think, are the most prominent smells. And then you can have, like, it's got this light trace of lemon. Yeah, right on the top. It's really, this is a really delicious smell. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Mmm. It smells like a, like a bubble gum or like a gum, like a, like a spearmint gum or peppermint gum. It smells, definitely smells better than a candy cane. Yep. Okay, so these are ones I've never purchased before, so I don't really know what these smell like. This one is called your Yoga Bomb. Um, so we got this one, the Yoga Bomb. And your Yoga Bomb has aluminum oil. I don't know what that is, but okay. You've got Hohood oil, um, sandalwood. I That right there, if anybody ever asked me what is my absolute favorite scent, I have two now. But sandalwood would be on the top of the list, followed by lavender. So this might end up being my favorite if this ends up smelling really strong of sandalwood. Because I actually love sandalwood. I use sandalwood incense and I even use sandalwood oils um, when I do my, my little oil burner. So, oh wow, that is really messy. That one's the messiest of the bunch. Oh man. Oh, that is, oh, that's amazing. Hmm. I think the hoe wood is coming through as well, but man. Hoe wood is actually cinnamon, by the way. <laughs> Why do they call it that? That is really, really relaxing scent. This also smells like something you would expect on a man, which is one reason why I like sandalwood. Holy moly, that smells good. All right, let's see here. We have got the Fizz Banger. Um, I've been wanting to get one of these ones. i had been thinking about it for quite a while and wow, did it fall apart in shipping. Um, this is your Fizz Banger and it has in it cinnamon leaf oil. It has, I have no idea how to say this word. It is petite green, petite green. <laughs> okay. It has yin yang oil in it as well. So those, you got your three oils in this. Um, oh, it does have popping candy in it as well, in it too. Oh my goodness. This thing's just a mess. <laughs> mess of words you can't pronounce. I don't know if I like the smell of that. Mm. It's not bad, but it's not something I'll buy again. <coughs> mm. You can smell a hint of the lemon, but I don't know. I think it's that other weird one, that citrus type of uh, oil that's in it. It's extremely overpowering. You know what it smells like? It smells like lime skin oil, like the skin of a lime, like the outer peel. Yeah. Oof. Okay, so this one I've been really wanting to try. I was told it's really soothing to the skin and it feels amazing. Um, and so this is your avo bath. It's like an avocado bath. So it has an avo bath and it has your extra virgin olive oil in it. It has lemongrass oil, bargamot oil. So yeah, it's called a, an avo bath or avo bath or however you want to call however way you want to pronounce that. Yeah. Yep. That smells like a fresh salad. 
smells like a salad with balsam balsamic vinegar oil on it. That smells really yummy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they shouldn't make these smell so edible. Um, now this one I'm really looking forward to opening. I have been really looking forward to this one for a while. It took me a while to order it only because I wanted something colorful, sorry. But this one is called the Dragon's Egg and it has in it lemon oil. It's got your bargamot oil. It has jasmine absolute in it. It also has in here, let's look, make sure we've read all the oils. So those are your big scents. Um, jasmine is one of my favorite, like one of my other favorite smells. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this has more of a jasmine smell than the lemon smell. So I guess we're gonna find out. Um, you know what that smells like? That smells like a Pez candy. Like you know when you buy Pez, the little Pez dispensers? This smells like the Pez candy. I don't think that's if you're flashing at me. But yeah, that smells amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Yep, so definitely one I would order again. So I definitely have a few that I would order here again. So there we go, guys. I am going to set this down here. And so I would definitely, definitely order a few of these. Um, ones I definitely won't be ordering again. Um, I won't be ordering the Fizz Banger again. Um, or the or the uh, comfort, comforter bubble. Um, these are ones I'm probably never gonna order again. Like I said, this, oh, I just got a big whiff of it. This one smells like the old fashioned hubba bubba bubble gum. That's what it smells like. Um, if you like bubble gum scent, by all means, that's amazing, but, so definitely stick with that. Um, the other one that I'm probably, like I said, uh, all, other than that, I think all of these I really like the smell of. After all of this, you guys, the Twilight Bar is definitely still my top scent, and I think right behind it is gonna be the Dragon's Egg. So out of the bath bombs, I would say number one on my list is the Twilight, the Twilight Bar, or Bubble Bath, or Bubble Bomb. Oh, good Lord, Bath Bomb, the Twilight Bath Bomb, and then the Dragon's Egg right behind it. Both of these scents are really, really good. Um, I think out of the bubble baths, the bath, the bubble bars, this one is definitely my favorite scent, the Karma Bubble. I'm almost afraid to use this because it does have pine in it and I do have an allergy to pine. And so I'm, I'm looking at it going, it does have pine oil. I don't know what that means it's gonna do to my allergies. Um, I get a rash and I usually get all broke out in the face um, when I do get exposed to like on my skin with pine. Um, so we'll, that one we'll, we'll proceed with caution even though it is my absolute favorite scent out of the um, bubble bars. So there we go. Um, and uh, the kids definitely want me to order them more of these, which I think is really cute because these are definitely more for little ones, for toddlers and, and little kids. But I thought this would be a great way to introduce the kids to the bath bombs. And these fizz up crazy wicked, like they sound almost robotic when they hit the water. Uh, it just makes the craziest sounds when it's in the water. And it does have lavender and that's probably why I like it, sandalwood. So it has my two favorite scents in there as well. Oh, and it has chamomile blue oil. So these are all things that would relax a child before bed. Um, so your chamomile and your lavender oils are both extremely relaxing scents, which is probably why we like this so much. So I definitely will reorder those for the kids and I really like the price on them. Everything at Lush is extremely affordable. So even if you're on a budget, you can afford Lush products. Um, they are, you can make your own bath bombs, but I would say it's worth it to have something to allow you, especially as a parent, to just fully relax. You know, especially as a mom. Moms are one of the ones I think that take baths the most, that just need that break, that time away. And what better way to do that than to relax with a couple of bath bombs. <clears throat> each of these was really well priced. Um, each, actually I got the Ickle Baby Bot ones for $3. They were $3.95 each. Um, the toothpaste, which comes with a lot in it, it is these here. And these, there's 40 tabs, there's 40, there's 20 days worth of brushing of your teeth right here. But I take these just for traveling purposes. So. 
I use my regular toothpaste here at home and then these are great for travel. So if you travel a lot, these are only $5, $4.95 for this. And I think they're, they're very worth it, um, especially if you travel a lot. What better way than to stick something this small in your bag to take with you when you travel and then a travel size toothbrush. Bam, you've got it. Um, and uh, yeah. So there you go guys. I hope that you like this Lush haul and uh, let me know if there's anything that you would like to know in the description box. I will leave a link down below to Lush so that you can go and order any of these same products. And I just wanna say thank you guys for joining me again. I hope that you liked the video and we'll talk to you later. Bye.